community at Siders are being mistreated in many ways. Many of their lives start in intensive farms with horrible living conditions. They're almost doomed to die. Those who make it are then sent to pet stores. However, about 25,000 to 30,000 adults are exported to food markets weekly. Those who make it to pet stores are often sold without proper care information, often resulting in the mistreatment of the pets, and they're often abandoned or neglected. That's the life of many Red Eared Sliders. Here's a story. Audrey is a Red Eared Slider. She was diagnosed with metabolic bone disease. She lived in a bucket with no UVA or UBV bulb, no area to bask, no filter, no heater, nothing. Only fed egg whites. As she grew, she had no space, and as a result, her shell deformed in order to survive. This went on for over 20 years until her owner died. She was then found and was in such a bad condition that she was going to be put down. But no, she was given a second chance at life. She was transferred between many specialists and shelters until ending up at Little Rescue. Due to all that's happened, she was affected both mentally and physically, and her life was cut short. Unfortunately, Audrey died last April. Now let's hear from Mark about how many turtles he receives in his shelter every year. We generally flip uh, our capacity at least once a year. So our, we have a full capacity of about 120, and that's usually how many we adopt out and take in per year. Since 2008, we've taken in close to 1,400 uh, of these uh, lovely uh, creatures into the rescue. That's a lot, and that's just one of the many animal shelters out there. And on top of that, not all pets are brought to the shelter. One of the reasons that people abandon their red-eared sliders is because of cost. But how much does it actually cost? The initial cost is always uh, the most expensive. You're looking at about a $500 investment when it comes to the tank, the lights, the uh, heaters, the filters, uh, and the turtle itself. Uh, beyond that, really is just uh, maintaining the filter, cleaning it out as necessary, uh, changing the lights when they burn out, and Keep, uh, keep up with the food. So uh, on average, I mean, after the initial cost, you're probably looking at about $100 a year. Believe it or not, in some religions, it's good luck to have a pet turtle in your house. Here's more about that. Primarily uh, Buddhism, I believe, uh, where it's good luck to have turtles uh, in the house kind of thing. And um, there are times, unfortunately, where uh, they do release them as a way of um, almost like getting karma. Not only does all this affect red-eared sliders, it also affects the native species. Once again, here's Mark to talk about that. Red-eared sliders are an invasive species. Because they have such a large natural uh, habitat, they can live in, in almost uh, salt water to almost mud. So they are a threat to, to, our, uh, to our waters here in Canada. Uh, they, if they take over uh, the, the territories, uh, they, they do breed quite easily and uh, they will make our own Ontario turtles extinct. Out of the turtles that are being threatened, the Blandings turtles is at most at risk because they share uh, the, uh, the territory with the, the sliders. The painted turtles are okay because there's just so many of them. Snapping turtles aren't a threat from sliders. And northern map turtles are also in decline. They share the same uh, common territory as the sliders. The bigger they are, the greater the damage. But how big can they actually get? And there she is. She's seven pounds, <laughs> about a foot long. And if released into the wild, she can she can have up to um, twenty four eggs per per nest. So she can do a lot of damage if she was out in the wild. Here's how you can help create a better future for these red eared sliders. Word of mouth, uh, basically, just uh, letting people know that it's it's not a good thing to release these guys out into the wild. So any 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 kind of money donations uh, do go a long way. Um, as for fostering, yes, uh, that is available too. Uh, we have kits available that we can uh, put into people's houses if they wanted to uh, foster uh, a turtle or two. Proper education on how to care for them properly. Um, a lot of times we get in turtles, the, the big. Uh, and, you know, the adult-sized turtles in very tiny tanks, and they're always talking about, oh, the turtle is stinky, the, you know, the water's always green. You have to realize they're living in their own toilet, right? So you need to give them enough space to be able to swim and, and digest their food and everything like that. So it's always proper education. Mark was asked, if you could say one important message for the whole world to hear, 
what would it be? Here's what he said. Always do your research on these animals before you buy them. Don't buy them on a whim and always account for the adult side of the animals. They live up to 50 years. They're a lifelong pet. 